right, today we're going to bring the Bamboo Lab P1S with a new version of it. So they fixed a couple of items that the other one had. Now let's test it out and open it up and see what you get when you get something like this. So out of the box, we're going to open it up and we're going to print for it directly. So let's go ahead and set it up first. I'll give you an online manual and also an actual tutorial here how to assemble the whole thing. So it's on the actual system itself. Uh, it comes paste on the top, but you go always go for the video of your the video person instead of the old-fashioned reading books now This comes tape. I wouldn't recommend you removing this or this because this one actually has a memory card the SD connect the micro SD All right, so remove this when you're ready to print and when you're ready to go um, Remove this when you're ready to set the actual monitor up. It's just like I said, it's a small little display on it uh, Do not remove the foam until you start it up it's gonna raise the whole thing. Just make sure you remove every tape as possible, all right? All right, let's go over a couple of things. So you get the actual display, all right? And this is a smaller display, of course. This is a smaller printer. It's not the larger one or, or the other version that's cost more money. They give you a couple of filament on the actual spindle. Uh, don't throw this away because it has a barcode and it reads a couple of things that you should know about it. And it also tells you exactly how much you're gonna need. So I like that they included this ruler here. Normally it tells you how much you need on a print and it's very difficult to find out and this one see-through it's really good so it's a keeper uh and the rest of the stuff too you're going to need to require to actually put it together including a toolkit all right and um the actual filament parts all right that you're going to need to do and of course greasing it up to give you some grease here i'm going to start in the back and it tells you holders here if you guys can see that so we're going to set up the holders and there's already a screw in here but they give you the extra screws in here at the allen wrenches so we're going to set that up right now. All right, next part, we're going to remove the actual screws that are in here and they're marked, clearly marked, all right? So get your Allen wrench and start spinning it. Next, we're going to set up the screen. And of course, um, there we go. We got it going on. Now you got to do is move it to the side so you could tuck this in a little bit if you want. Right, so to put the thing in you got to push it up a little bit and then sideways right back push it up a little bit and sideways first time we're gonna use this I'm gonna use my filament my filament all right I was using it so we're gonna burn this one out first all right, we just cracked it up first time turn it on so we're gonna remove whatever stickers we have left now and I think we're ready to go we want to lift this up right now so we're gonna go ahead and say next to it okay i forgot it's not a touch screen so you have to wait two seconds it says all right this thing's gonna take a couple minutes testing and it's gonna shake make noises we're gonna let it run and come back all right so we've done the test already we did a firmware upgrade too also so we're gonna go navigate through this device we're gonna go home actual test and whatever's included in here we're gonna do it and do it let's do that one i'm gonna hit okay and print it says it's going to say 17 seconds 17 minutes actually so let's go ahead and do the print thing is about it i like the glass you can remove it right now it's heating up right now we're going to see how well and how fast it works but very quiet so far right now um compared to the creality uh, it's a little noisy i did lose an allen wrench in the back i looked for it and i couldn't find it so uh i'm gonna have to take some of the panels apart so i could Maybe find it later. So it's not disturbing and uh, nothing happened. It's still running very good. And we're gonna see how fast it works. So right now it's heating up. It's just 17 seconds and it cleans up. If you guys can see that, it just cleaned up itself. And it has a bottom tray where it releases any kind of components to the back. Look at this. Okay, it just finished one piece from one end. Now it's doing the other piece here, if you guys can see it. So this is why it's going to take an hour because they finished one end, now it's starting the other one. <laughs> this looks sick. I mean, look at the details on this one right here. That's a normal speed. This one doesn't have any legs. It's flat. It doesn't move. Uh, details, the screen is a little blank here if you guys can see it. But if you hit up or down, it tells you how much we have left. How hot it is the nozzle is 100 percent 42 more minutes to go my first print out of the actual machine and they're completely done 
So if you guys can see, we're gonna put it together. It's a little hot the plate, so we're gonna see what this is. Let's see what I printed out. All right, let's take a look at the details on the actual print. I left it outside, it's a little dusty right now, but <laughs> I came back for it. Uh, it came out really good, I'm very impressed. Some of the letters was um, pretty much because it was a, it was pasted to the ground and it had some support, so. But you could do different kinds of supports that are really good. I like the tree supports, one of my favorite. Uh, I've been printing with the actual printing 24-7. Uh, I have two boxes of um, that I printed figures already and ready to go, but really fine detail. Highly recommend you for if you're going to buy your first printer. Um, this is going to be your first and your last printer you're ever going to buy because it's really good. I highly recommend it. It's a working horse. I've been using it a lot, 24-7, every day for the past two or three weeks already, almost three weeks. Uh, just constantly printing on the bamboo labs. It's very, very, very easy. As long as you do maintenance and put grease, clean it up once in a while, uh, clean the bedding too also, and also remove the filament manually, and um, you'll be able to print really good figures. It's actually, this is really good, but I, I printed out some really detailed ones. Let me show you guys a couple more. I'm going to show you guys what I did here, right? These are... Two different filaments. I started with one and it ran out and I ended up using a, a white one, kind of like a see-through, but it did not change anything on the details. They look phenomenal. I mean, I am very impressed with the machine, how well it picks up even after you run out of filament and you add a different color. You can see the difference on the colors, but not the details itself. The details are really fine. Yeah, of course, this one's like a... A see-through one it's not a white one um, so I'm gonna paint it all so you guys can see it this is a Batman bell you guys can see it. this is a big Batman figure that look at the details on it I'm not gonna be able to sand anything because I'm gonna put this by the light so you guys can see how good it will well so I think that mostly uh, if I paint it over in the first layer second layer I'm gonna spray paint first should cover some of the lining, but in reality, there's not that much lining. You could see that this is like a leather um, um, underwear that he's wearing here, but you can actually tell the, the difference on it. Very good fine print. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.